when you're ready. I'm ready. What is falconry? Falconry is the sport of taking wild quarry in its natural habitat by means of a raptor or bird of prey. What is your goal as a falconer? My goal as a falconer is to experience wildlife in its rarest form, most natural form. Before I started this documentary, I never really thought about how many people get to do what I got to do. I never really appreciated it. I'd gone hunting before with my uncle, who is a falconer, but I never really understood what his goals were exactly. When I asked him what inspired him to become a falconer, he had told me that his childhood mentor had become a falconer, and he believed that falconry was so incredible that he had to pursue it. I now understand why it's so incredible. For this film, I had gone out twice with him to go hunting, and I filmed as much as I could during that time, and every moment was amazing because I was able to watch a bird of prey up close. I felt amazed. Falconry is a sport built on trust. It was obvious that my uncle had built up trust with his hawk. The first time I had gone out hunting with my uncle, I had realized that there was a bond between him and his hawk. Whenever my uncle called to the hawk, the hawk flew back to my uncle. The hawk never disobeyed because that trust was there. A lot of time and patience goes into falconry. He'll come back to the perch in a second. Okay. Get a good flight that way. You ready? Yeah. Come on! Come on! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Was that cool? What keeps your hawk from flying away from you when hunting? Uh, what keeps him from flying away is... He knows that he's more successful at hunting with me than he is with himself, or by himself. So, falconry is based off of trust, basically. Yes, uh, trust, and that's pretty much it. My uncle has been a falconer for approximately four years, and he's one of 60 falconers in the state, and one in 7,000 in the country. He has trained multiple goshawks and harris hawks within that time, he usually keeps his raptors for one season and then releases them. But he now has a captive bred one year old Harris hawk named Zane that he plans on keeping for many years. Where do you keep your raptor? I keep my raptor in what is called a mew. It's an 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight enclosure which allows him enough room to spread his wings and you know it's a nice little habitat. How long does it take to train them? Uh, generally speaking, it takes me about three to four weeks to train a wild raptor. Some people believe that falconry is unethical or wrong, and that these raptors don't deserve to be kept in captivity. But the same can be said about other household pets, because they weren't always pets. Falconry has been around for 4,000 years, and falcons and other raptors have been bred in captivity ever since. Is there a difference between wild caught and captive bred? Yes, there is. Um... When you catch a raptor out in the wild, generally they know how to hunt already, and they don't trust humans as much. Um, when you have a captive bred bird, you know they you have to teach them how to hunt. You know they don't know how to hunt already, but uh, they they're more uh, they're more tame, if you will. Do you capture a raptor or do you buy it? Um, I've done both. I've I've captured many raptors, and I've bought one. There have been times where falconry has been stressful, and quitting seemed like an option for my uncle because training a raptor can certainly be frustrating, but it's such an amazing experience that it's kept him going. Zane has been very easy to train, and he hasn't been very frustrating, although he had to learn how to hunt since he is captive bred. Once Zane learned how to hunt, he usually captures something every day. What is your reward from doing this? My reward is to enjoy the hunting with a bird of prey, being able to see something that 
not a lot of other people get to see and experience. How long does it take to become one? To become a, a falconer, you must uh, first pass a test, a state test. And once you pass this test with a high enough score, then you have to have proper facilities and equipment for your bird. It's a highly regulated sport. And once you have all those things done, then uh, you go through a two-year apprenticeship. And then you'll become a general falconer. Do you know how long falconry has been around? Falconry has been around for over 4,000 years. Uh, falconry was known as the sport of kings back a long time ago and only the kings and rich people would uh, practice the sport. When I went hunting, some of my uncle's friends came along to help Zane capture something. We started by basically forming a line and walking through the bushes and trying to scare out rabbits or other types of quarry. Whenever one of us saw a rabbit, we would shout to get Zane's attention. When Zane would sit on the bushes, that would mean that either he saw a rabbit go into the same bush or one was nearby. If it was under the same bush Zane was on, we would kick the bush and try to force the rabbit out. Sadly, the first day I went hunting, we didn't catch anything, but on the second day, Zane had caught a jackrabbit. Altogether, falconry is something amazing, and not many people get to do it. I am lucky to be able to do what I was able to do. I have learned many new things about what falconers do and how they hunt, and quite honestly, I wouldn't mind becoming one myself. Like I said earlier, falconry is something that requires patience and trust. There aren't many falconers in this world, but I'm glad that my uncle is one. I thank him for the things I have learned and the experience I have gained. I also am glad that I was able to watch and even hold one of these raptors. It's an amazing experience, and I'm glad I did this documentary.